Hey all and welcome to Rude. Hey all, welcome back to day two with my new filly who remains unnamed because I am the most indecisive person on the planet. I have like 10 names for her and I just don't know which is the right one. So I spent a few minutes in here just getting her back to where she was yesterday. It didn't take long. She's not one of those Mustangs that just forgets everything on a new day. She's um, She's been doing really good. So it's time to introduce her to the stick and string and start getting her used to ropes all around her face and her, and her neck. Oh, I love her curiosity. Just a few seconds ago, I had my poor unfortunate jacket hanging on, on the fence and she had to come over and knock it off into the dirt. Sometimes I'll do this step before I get to touching them with my hand, but with the horse as quiet as this, I was just able to start touching her with my hand right away. But as far as anywhere past her head and neck goes, once I get her haltered, I'm going to desensitize her all over with this before I start touching her whole body with my hand. So I want to see how she reacts. Why are you all wide eyed? <coughs> what she was doing a little bit earlier is she's kind of trying to block me from the side a little bit. See how she's turning her head? There we go. Good girl. used to ropes hanging all around her. There you go. Wait till she faces up. weird about the left side. It doesn't make much sense because she's not super afraid. She's just kind of like, I don't really want you over there. At least she's not bad about it. Let's see if she's ear shy. Good girl. She's not ear shy. There's a few different techniques I'll use to alter them for the first time. It just kind of depends on the horse. She'll be good for the good old toss it over the neck method. So here's where Safira decided that she wasn't sure if she wanted the halter around her neck and she started to wander off. And at this point she doesn't understand pressure so I can't hold on to the halter and keep her from moving away. So I just let go of half of it and then I waited until she stopped moving. Here I clicked but then she looked away so I waited a little bit and then clicked again when she was being good. This was the first time that day where she decided that she wanted nothing to do with me and turned away from me. So like I did in the last video, I just used some pressure to get her to face up to me again. I wouldn't mind. 
mind it so much if she had gotten spooked and moved away, but it was just because she decided not to interact and she turned her butt to me, and that was the main reason why I got after her a little bit. So around here, she kind of reached the point where she just decided, no, this is too much for me. I don't want anything to do with this. And when they reach this point, especially the baby horses, they just get more and more frustrated the more you work at it. So after a little bit of this, I decided to take a few steps back to save us both from frustration and make it a better experience. So like I said, this is about the point where I realized, okay, this isn't going anywhere useful, so I'm just going to take a few steps back and work on something different until she's ready for the halter again. Right now, I just had a nice moment to click, and then she was like, oh, right, sitting still is a good thing. So I had noticed that a lot of her issue with the halter was when I first started working on putting the nose band around her mouth. She was nervous about it touching her nose and mouth, so I spent a lot of time putting the stick and string all around her mouth. This string, my plastic and string, and I'm going to use it to be able to keep a better hold on the halter should she decide she wants to. Okay. It's up to now from that she's asleep. 
Tell my face. Go naked. 